clearly it's packed with innovation and technology, but I'm interested to know what the starting point was with the design process. I mean, where do you start? Do you start at the bottom? Do you start at the top or, or maybe even somewhere else? Uh, I, would, I would, let's say that there's two different points. First of all, when we talk about the technical approach, the, 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 the architecture, the components, we started actually from a blank sheet of paper, yeah? Uh, and you can see this is, it breaks completely with all the rules we know from, from mid-size, from big scooters. We, they usually have this typical sport bike language and we wanted to get completely rid of this. So, first of all, we said that the package has to be completely new. Uh, it starts with a battery at the bottom of the bike which gives a very good uh, center of gravity, very low center of gravity. That means that incorporates an easy handling, very good maneuverability, which is important for urban traffic, obviously. And then, uh, on the other hand, you, you arrange all the new components. That gives you freedom for where you put the, the luggage compartment, how you treat with the seat, with ergonomics, and all this kind of other stuff. But this is the one side of the medal, I would say. The other side of the medal is we really wanted to have a, a completely new approach on, on also on the mental, uh, the mental approach. Because I think, in my perception, these kind of scooters are usually utility vehicles. And utility vehicles are usually utility first, and then you take all this, what I just said, this sporty formal language, and this is why these scooters look like that. But they are not usually perceived as the really cool stuff, you know, like taking bikes or something like that. So this is why we really said emotion has to, play a big, has to play a big role on this bike. You want to feel cool and you want to feel contemporary in an urban environment uh, and it has to make a statement for the rider. If you ride this through Munich, I make a statement. This is something different. And that was very, very important from the beginning on. So. The architecture is one thing, but the mental approach is also another thing. And we had complete freedom on this side here. Yeah, visually, it's certainly amazing to look at. And I mean, like many innovative, innovative designs, it could well polarize opinion. I remember many design chats in the past. I remember somebody saying to me, if you bring something out and people are comfortable with it straight away, then, you know, within a couple of years, they're just going to find that completely boring. So I guess that's another way of saying design really should always serve to challenge convention, shouldn't it? I, yeah, definitely. I mean, I'm, I'm, it's okay for me if somebody says, I mean, I don't like it, or you like it or you don't like it. That's okay. I mean, I rather, I rather uh, like the idea that people love it or they hate it. Uh, it's better than being indifferent, you know. Okay, a new scooter, another scooter. I mean, it's, again, it's, it's a statement. It should not be a Me Too product. This is what we said from the beginning on. And yeah. another thing maybe also interesting, many components, as I mentioned, are reconsidered uh, f and especially reconsidered for urban traffic, for short range traffic. I mean, we know people in the urban environment, they do very short distances usually. And the range of this scooter is way beyond that range, so that's fine. On the other hand, that means also you, you have, there is no use of uh, having a 120 millimeter foam thickness when you only do five kilometers and you put down your feet anyway at every traffic light. So you can have a very different seat here, as you see, but that it opens up many opportunities in, in ergonomics. I mean, this seat is way more better fitting all the small and big guys uh, than uh, a usually stepped seat or you can have a, a very light looking thing by this kind of floating seat, what we see here. You have a, a way to arrange the, rearrange the, the luggage compartment like this here in the, in the middle of under the seat bank here, for example. Um, so again, this new architecture opens up many opportunities also.